Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know the Joe Boo Sports Reports. We don't ever sleep. We don't. It is 12.01. We had our live stream at 10 o'clock tonight. Excuse me, 9 o'clock to 10. And since then, I've been actually working on here. Look at this. Tell me that doesn't look good. Tell me that doesn't look good up there. Making this faux beam, so to speak. See, we're covering up all the insulation and things. My wife is like, it's late. Why are you still working? I said, because we got to get her done. And shout out to Miss Jackie. Miss Jackie, who sent me a link. I heard somebody say something about this in our live stream tonight, but I thought that it was, okay, seriously? Well, here's the deal. And it's not like it hasn't happened before. You see, a lot of times, players... Or making a whole bunch of money and want, want to make a whole bunch of money and or they were making a whole bunch of money and you cut them because of ugh, cap reasons excuse me a lot of people thought that Zeke Elliott was going to be possibly coming back to the Cowboys the Cowboys cut him got a better you know got a better situation as far as money goes or you know they find out they can't make as much as they did they decide okay we'll come back at a lesser rate didn't happen Zeke Elliott found himself a new home of course with um, the New England Patriots, you know, and shout out to them. Well, Lyle Collins got released, of course, at the beginning of last year. The Cowboys are still playing eight and a half million dollars in dead money for him. Um, Lyle went to Cincinnati, which had offensive line issues, um, towards ACL and was in recovery and stuff from it, has had some injuries, of course with his back and so forth. And the rumor was in 2020 that he came in overweight and that caused problems with his hips. So I believe, for me, I thought Lyle Collins was gonna be an incredible guard. And for whatever reason, the Cowboys or he probably looked at it and said, tackles make a lot more money than guards unless you're Zach Martin and played tackle. And I think part of the problem that hurt Lyle Collins was you know, they kept switching him around. He kept moving around. He never really got his stride of where he's going to be. Be that as it may, the Cowboys allegedly, now this is what the, the don't, don't shoot the messenger. Cowboys allegedly are showing interest in bringing back Lyle Collins. Um, and I guess they look at this and say, he, he knows the people. He knows the system. We can probably get him on the cheap. Um, we can bring him in. We don't need him immediately. He can rehab and get himself together. And then we have a backup guard who is experienced and played well for Okay. Okay. What cartoon character is that? Or comic strip car character? Leave it in the comments and let me know who it is or what it is. But definitely, definitely. Be that as it may, I'm sorry I'm yawning because I am actually tired because we've been at this since 7 o'clock this morning. Um, veteran minimum? I got no problems with that. We got almost $8 million in cap space right now. And if the Cowboy <sighs> don't follow ESPN's Suggestion that they could save $32 million by cutting Dak before March 1st um, or trading him, which you can't do. Um, yeah, we got some money that they can, can spend and get him. Get him for a better minimum contract with incentives on it and see where it goes. Um, I'm sure Lyle would love to come back home. And with that being said... I'm actually glad that I stayed up to do these because had I not, I wouldn't have gotten this content to you guys. So, that being said, what I said to myself when I did my fireside chat was, I'm going to do two more sections in there. I said, because if I do two more, then that's two more sections that I don't have to worry about doing tomorrow or in the future. I did three. And since I'm going to upload this one, this video, and need to get it uh, hooked up, um, I guess I will do one more because I got time. Time. 
is on my side. Yes, it is. Time. No, it's not. I'm 57 years old. Unless I'm going to live to be 114, over half my life is gone. So time, it ain't on my side. So I would want to get as much done as I could. All right? Peace.